Hello, it's Mistletoe, and I want to thank you for watching my About Me video. Making this video is actually a bit of a trust exercise between Wynne and I. You see, we have quite different ideas of how the body should be run and the direction that our life should take as a collective system, and that has been a point of contention between us for quite a long time. We make choices that upset each other, and we make decisions without consulting one another at times. And so allowing me to come forth and take full control of the body in a sort of controlled environment, uh, being videotaped, of course, is a small step in showing Win that I am worthy of her trust and capable of maintaining it. I am the only alter with whom Wynne loses time. I don't intentionally w try to do this. In fact, I feel almost a little insulted when it does happen, because why should I be the one whose memories aren't remembered? Of course, Wynne is making a conscious decision not to remember. There's just something about the way both of us work that at times she doesn't remember what I see or what I do. I have, in the past, used that to my advantage. I am working to make amends for perhaps brash actions that I have made in the past. But I digress. <laughs> I like to view myself as the mother of the system. Originally, I meant to have Wynne come under my motherly wing as well, but she made it very clear very early on that she was not seeking motherly guidance. And so I have redirected my energy to taking care of the littles, to taking care of Josh and me and Karen, and sometimes Daniel. He doesn't necessarily enjoy having a mother figure looking over his shoulder either, but he's so sweet and so innocent. And so I keep a watchful eye on him from a distance. I am not a trauma holder, like some of the other alters in the system. I never directly experience trauma. And because of this, I'm able to support the others in a very unique way. When one of us is working through memory reprocessing in therapy, I am able to be a sort of stable source of support for whoever is working through those memories. Since I am not directly connected to them, I can remain calm even if the other headmate is in a state of panic. I pride myself in taking care of the others this way, especially the little ones. The only younger alter that I don't necessarily have a desire to take care of is Kit. She is is the only other fairy in the system, and she is perhaps more belligerent than Wynne, if you could consider that possible. I am one of the only alters who does not know exactly when or why I was created. When Wynne first became aware of me, I thought that I was a new alter. I thought that I was created to introduce Wynne to the system and to help ease her into the idea that she has DID. In the recent months, I have begun to have my own memories resurface of experiences that I had when the body was a child. While Daniel is the only one who knows his exact birth date, most of us know at least the age that the body was when we were created. I do not. On the inside, there are two altars named Jonathan and Jacob. They help run the system and keep things organized from the inside. Jonathan is also in charge of holding memories for everyone. He contains them and hands them out when he thinks it's appropriate for us to remember collectively. They hold on to the memories of my creation. Jacob assures me that I will know in due time, but at this point in time, it is more important that I work with the little ones and not necessarily know much about myself, which is quite all right with me, although it is a little unnerving to be out of the loop about oneself. So I just enjoy the memories as they come. They are all pleasant so far, and I take that joy and that peace that I hold within myself and I offer it to the others as best I can. I mentioned that Wynne was aware of me first. Now, I don't mean that she was never aware of any of the altars. She did have a sort of awareness of all of us at some point or another. She just didn't know exactly exactly what it was that we were. She thought we were creative manifestations or periods of forgetfulness rather than parts of 
herself. It was a bit of a funny story when I came out. When was driving to school and I very gently moved forward and took over the body while assuring that she was co-conscious with me and she was quite confused. She stopped at a red light and texted her friend, I don't know what's happening to me. I suddenly turned into a fairy, but I know I'm not a fairy. Please help. Her friend was obviously very confused as well and it wasn't until a few weeks later in therapy that the idea that I could be an altar started to surface. By this time she'd already met Daniel and was beginning to become aware of me, a little six-year-old me. In the beginning, she looked to me as a protector, but when I started giving her advice that she did not care to follow, we began to butt heads and we're at this point of conflict that leads a video recording to be a trust exercise. I am learning to compromise and work with Wynne to find middle ground between where I feel that we should be and where she feels that we should be. I have a drawing of myself that Wynne did for me. This is me. I have dark brown hair but with white on the bangs and I don't wear much makeup. I'm 49 years old and I know that this picture can seem like I'm a little older but going with a natural face like I do and keeping my natural gray does age me a little bit, but I'm certainly okay with that. I'm not here to look fashionable <laughs> or attract anyone. I'm here simply to provide comfort and protection to those who are willing to come under my wing, literally. <laughs> These are my lovely butterfly wings. So that's myself. I don't really know how much more there is to say about me, really. I love my family. I love each and every one of the members of the system, even if they can be stubborn and disrespectful. And I'm very pleased to see how receptive and supportive everyone has been in Wynn's endeavor to educate and open the door of conversation about dissociative identity disorder. So although I am not quite as invested in this channel as she is, I want to thank you all for being so supportive of her and of our system in general over the past few weeks that this channel has existed. Please also don't forget that we have the Ask the Altar video coming up soon and we need all those questions in by December 18th. So if you have any questions for myself or any of the altars that you've met so far, I know Daniel and me and Kit have all presented themselves. Lido, I believe, has made a video as well, and there will be one more before the gate closes, though I believe Kit has hosted that video as well. So if you do have a question for any or all of us, please do let us know, and I look forward to answering them and getting to know you a bit more through your questions as you know us a bit more through our answers. Thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.